tell me a little bit about um, how RAP has impacted you and your family. It has impacted me very much so in many ways. Uh, the main thing I think is uh, the support and camaraderie of relating to the other people that are in my situation who are raising relatives. The support is unbelievable. I've been on both sides of the spectrum, not only as a support receiver, but also as a support giver in the mentor mode. So uh, that's been huge for me. What do you say is the biggest highlight of your experience over the years with RAP? I would say the biggest highlight experience I've had with RAP has been the ability to, um, I would say, be able to pick up a phone on a whim and know that someone is there to guide me, uh, support me, and also I would say for me to be able to give back felt good too in the way of the mentoring program that I uh, mentored incoming families and it was very um, enjoyable. Uh, you know, I felt a sense of gratitude and uh, fulfilled when I did that. Uh, so it's twofold, I guess. I give and a take, you know, type of thing, which really helps to balance one person. As far as for the future of RAP, um, if you could imagine kind of what you would like to see the program do or where you would like to see the program be over the next couple of years, do you have any thoughts on that? I am hopeful that RAP will continue because I see the statistics. I see so many families taking in relatives, more so now than ever. Families that I meet throughout my career in teaching, as well as families, you know, just reading about it in the, in the social media. I am hopeful that RAP will continue to provide the support, as well as enhance the ability to reach out to other families with more activities that we can engage in. Um, Hopefully, you know, once the COVID is over, we can resume that quote unquote new normal and get back some of the things that we haven't been able to do. I miss that very much, but I'm so grateful that in the interim, we have the programs in place to be able to still stay connected.